Almost set to go here. You can feel the tension in the stadium here is lifted a little whenever the 12 time Hong Kong Sevens champions are on deck. It gets a little more interesting and they're up against the number one team in the world right now, Argentina. And here we go, in pool B, New Zealand left to right, all in black, up against Los Pumas Sevens. Restart, closely contested, fallen into the hands of Jochen Pellandini. Herman Schultz, across to Santiago Virafeld. And here's Luciano Gonzalez, who is a who was the HSBC player of the final when these two contested the, the Vancouver gold medal match earlier on in the series. Physical stuff from New Zealand Ernie trying to work the ball away, and they've done that. Curry has it. Leo off the deck to Weber. Finianganofo to his left, and Collie is out there as well. Finianganofo gets a lovely ball out to the captain. Buys a bit of time. Lobs it over to Leo. Here's Tapai Cook Savage. You've got the winner against GB this morning. Scott Curry there to Regan Ware. Steps inside of Suds. A good tackle, though, from Gonzalez. Cook Savage gets it away quickly to Leo. Collier. Collier just dinks it over the top to Weber. Nice quick hands to Fini. Fini Anganofo inside. And Fini Anganofo will get the try scoring started here for New Zealand. That was well worked. And it all came from that turnover from the good defence. Yeah, fantastic work at the breakdown. New Zealand know it's going to be a physical game. Argentina haven't got the gas on the outside. Look at this lower tackle. Good leg drive as well from the player Cook Savage. Passes the ball off. Regan Ware comes in with the second tackle. Then Moses Leo with the third one. Curry will come in with the system. Get the turnover. There's the rip. That's what got it all started. Joe Weber gives the last pass out to Fini Anganofu, who still had a bit of work to do. But a perfect start for New Zealand. There's 105 kilogram centre is Fini Anganofu in 15s. And in, in sevens, that's big for a back. New Zealand secondary schools, Auckland Grammar School. Good try. Converted 7-0. Cook Savage from Waikato. Over to Fraha, does really well in the air, the big number five, but Fernando Ganofo, yeah, he's put him over the sideline. That's a really good effort. Oh, one of the stars for Argentina in game one, Fraha, he was fantastic. Fernando Ganofo there, heavily involved early on in this game with the tackle. Just grabs a jersey and flings in the round two of the new young guns on the series this season. Yeah, the, the try saver on Perry Baker in that game against USA this morning. It wasn't enough for Argentina to get the win, but it was quite something from Fraha as Baker was running in for what he thought was a hat-trick penalty. Argentina here. Great defense from Argentina. New Zealand had players of motion. Regan Weir couldn't find his runner. He was hitting the hole. He knows he's made a mistake. So that's a great turnover from Argentina. Once again, going to the set piece, playing slow, Rupert. They've had to change their mindset and tactics to suit their superstar Moneta not being on the field long touch finder deep into the 22 there's the hole there's the run it wasn't given and then Herman Schultz the great defense much needed well they've got some big big yeah, yeah, yeah. units haven't they they've raised the power game in rugby sevens to a new level this side and it's no coincidence that the Ireland who are second rank coming in they're a big team as well always evolving this sport here's Schultz brings it down Gonzalez speaking of power here's Pellandini who's been one of their real stars this season the number 14 they got another penalty yeah tough one there I think Mare was the one that actually took the New Zealand play back into the ruck when he was trying to roll away so they're going to go to scrum here and again use that power like though Gonzalez just testing the New Zealand defence just making sure they're on side holding their ball just half a second he's going to be integral I think over the course of this weekend of course, these two teams will be at the Olympic Games as well. Later this year, you've got the silver medalist from Tokyo against the bronze medalist Argentina here up against each other. Pellandini coming around the corner is Fraha, but the ball's loose and Cook Savage is onto it. Good work from the scrum half. And here's Curry now. Mare trying to put him on the floor. Really good carry from Scott Curry. It was a Sadzuk, in fact. Here's nice quick hands from Cook Savage. 
to Leo, really good feet. Oh, he gets away from Pellandini as well. Cover coming across, but Vierdefeld won't get there. He tries to fling it inside, and he stopped to try there, has he? Santiago Vierdefeld. Moses Leo was trying to throw it inside to Joe Weber. Let's have a look here. I think he's done fantastic here. He's knocked the ball back, so that's play on. Does he held back? Potentially, I think he gets the ball first, yeah. does he? Yes! No. Oh, Santiago Vera felt how good! Well, there's two sides Pato to that, isn't there? Yep. There's no try. Yep. Taken back in goal by Argentina. Yep. So five meter scrum. New Zealand ball. Okay. That was the voice of Matt Wharton, the television try. match official. No try, as we expected. But it's actually worked out all right for New Zealand with the five-meter scrum. But what about the effort from Vida Feld? But I guess you've got to question the decision to throw the ball in field in the first place. I think it's such a big game. You take all these points. You don't do this. I know what he's trying to achieve, and that's get the seven the points here. rather than the five. If you're going to do this, you need to jump up and make sure there's no chance for Vida Feld to get that ball. But you can't fault the effort. That's what keeps you in these types of games and tournaments from Argentina and why they've been so good this season. Yeah, the man from Buenos Aires has done brilliantly there. That tells the story. That reaction. Here we go, though. All back sevens looking for their second try, still with the ball in possession. We had a little hint there of Joe Weber just coming close to Tapia Savage. He's got great footwork. He's going to be directly behind the scrum. He's the danger. He'll be the key, Joe Weber. New Zealand 12-time winners here in Hong Kong. Six in the World Series era. Fine. Defending Again. champions. Close. Come on. Cook Savage feeds it. Weber, Leo, he will score now. No, he won't. Oh, dear, I can't believe it. That's two in a row that Moses Leo has given up for the All Black Sevens. Extraordinary stuff. Well, it's amazing what this amphitheater does to players. The pressure of playing in Hong Kong. Joe Weber gives the pass. He just can't take it. You thought he had it. Oh, fingertip yeah. stuff. No try. Yeah. Well, perhaps he was thinking about the previous one, you know, and giving up with the pass inside that Vierdefeld intercepted. Perhaps that was, that was in his head. Well, you can see the deep breaths. No doubt it is. No doubt, Rupert, but now you've got to give it to Argentina. They are scrapping for everything. They will keep this tight for sure. I reckon his old first 15 coach from Westlake Boys High School might be on the phone tonight. Maybe a sneaky message. Keep focused, young man. All good learnings. Argentina now deep in their own territory with Gonzalez. He's often a first receiver there to muscle it out of the 22. Now they can show a bit of width. There is Vitterfeld, who came up with that try saver. Schultz. Heavy contact. You can hear that through the effects, Mike's Physical game, this. 7 0 New Zealand lead it. Just over a minute to go, and here's Luciano Gonzalez. He's got Mare with him as well. Dummies. Good tackle from Cook Savage on a bigger man. Pellandini. Osadzuk. Fraha. Augustine Fraha stands in the tackle, gets the knee to the floor. There you go. Referee tells him to release. There's Pellandini. Vera Feld. Mare almost through. Curry just no, comes no. around the side of that breakdown. Told to let go by the referee. Pellandini again. Quick hands to Asadzuk. Long ball over the top to Fraha now with a bit of space in front of him. Plenty of pace, plenty of size. He's got support too, but he can't quite find it. It was Osadzuk who was looming. Now New Zealand have the ball back. Curry surveying his options. 14 seconds to go. Lead 7-0. Don't want to make a mistake here. Right, Mare working the turnover. Look at Argentina flooding the breakdown. But New Zealand do really well to hold on to it. Here's the captain. Collier skips away from one tackle. He needs to be careful. Right, Can't get isolated. Yeah, they'll put it off the park now. That's sensible one would think in that area that did burn a couple of scores as well in that first half Argentina looking to take advantage Pellandini gets us back underway this is the round two of pool games and this is 
Pull B. Mare. Just keeps his body in the field of play, but the counter ruck from Regan Ware was excellent. And Collier gets it away for Cook Savage. Now Brady Rush, who made a big impact on off the bench this morning with a try. Moses Leo cuts through the defensive line. Well, that's how you do it. He might have burnt a couple in the first half, but that's just what he can do. He extends New Zealand's lead. Just shows the mental toughness of the young man. Brilliant from him. Brilliant from Regan Ware with the hit. Scott Curry, the timing was fantastic in the counter. -act. Dylan Collier comes in as well and releases that ball. And this will be a nice shot of it. Moses Leo, the jump step, the speed on the outside, the ball in the two hands, and the ability to just slice defenses is why he's in this team. I'm sure his coach would have said, first time you get the ball, you just run and back yourself. And that's what he did. Yeah, that's a good response from Moses Leo. Come on. Coming. And the Kiwis have a chance to go 14 0 here. Conversion doesn't make it, but still a two score game. Remember, Argentina, at the very least, they want to get within seven for the Come losing on. bonus. I'm wondering when Iskro will be introduced into this game for Argentina. Still on the side. That restart has bounced into touch, so it'll be a line out throw to Come Argentina. On. Didn't go all the way over. There'll be a change here for New Zealand, and great to see this man in number three, Tony Nashu, who's been out for a long old time. Not since Cape Town. 2023, ACL injury. Works his way back. Great to see him back on deck. Pellandini to Schultz. Almost got in the muddle with a Sudzuk, and then Pellandini knocks it on. That is very un Argentinian in terms of what we've seen of late on the series. Well, so proficient yeah. at their set piece and particularly okay, their lineup. But look yeah. at the pressure here from New Zealand. Curry's watching where the jump is going to go. Up. They concede it there. Curry's yeah, going to put pressure well. on, but he brings down. And then this straight away, you can see looking up. All yeah. that's from that line out and work from New Zealand in the forwards. Okay, yeah, that little glance Crouch. was enough. Good work from Curry. Fine. And New Zealand with another attacking yeah. opportunity. Hold. Watch out from Regan Ware and the step in the midfield. Brady Rush. There is Regan Ware. Nice pass right in front of him. Almost gets past Vita Fell. They go the same way. Now Cody Vai, who scored in the cup final here last year en route to victory. Swings it out here to Scott Curry. Defender coming across Revol, but he bounces off Curry inside to Tony Nashu. And that'll be a popular score for New Zealand. You can see what it means to his teammates. And there's a yellow card coming as well. But that's all about the comeback and Nashu back scoring tries for New Zealand. Well, when he did get the injury, he's one of the best players for New Zealand. Watch it here. The two old balls, Gaston Revolt and Scott Curry go one on one. And Curry, who's been fantastic in the last few tournaments, brushes the last defender off. One guy comes across, the pass comes in, and Tony Nashu will be the recipient. Welcome back to Black Tony Nashu. Oh, the smile as wide as Hong Kong Island as he ran in there. And Cody Pye knew exactly what that emotion was all about. 17 nothing. That's a nice moment. Great to see him back. And Argentina with the yellow card, with the high shot as Nashu. Went to score that try, so it just yeah, compounds yeah. things at the come moment. Look like it's Wade who's off for Argentina. Yeah, it just hasn't gone their way at all. This game, Argentina, remember, coming in off a loss against the USA into this one. You wouldn't have thought the top team on the planet right now would be 0 for 2 in pool play. Well, the first four tournaments, they were indestructible, let's be honest. They were playing lights out rugby sevens all four and then the last couple of tournaments as you'd expect being so far ahead of everyone else you thought they're just coming back to the pack just a little bit well after winning in vancouver they were fifth in la but they were still 20 points clear of everybody else coming in shows you how dominant they've been different story here so far in hong kong it can all change very quickly there's a flag out on the far side yeah referee's seen it penalty only 
Shea Clark. A guilty good, party. That's a good point you make, though, Rupert, earlier on in the court. It's all about points difference. If they don't get the win, I'm not saying that they're out of it by any stretch. If they score here, it's still three and a half minutes. That's an age. Thank yeah, you. so the top two from each pool automatically qualify, plus Come the off, next best two third place finishes across the three pools. So 54. they'll still have another chance in their final game. Yeah, and see the grab just at the end there from Shea Clark. You can't do that. That's hence the penalty. James from New Zealand, Regan Ware's leaving the field. Yeah, Andrew yeah, Newstub yeah, is out there. New Zealand can test the line out. They do it well. Graziano can't hold on, and Newstub has it for New Zealand. Another player who yeah, returned from long term injury. This time, Argentina get the decision. Yeah, great to see him back. Andrew Newstub, great backstory as well for him. Been in rehab for a long time, always tough. Yeah, another ACL and then recurrence of injuries while he was rehabbing almost two years out with injury. And he was he was an absolute stud on the series before that injury. Real star for New Zealand. Penalty Argentina again here. Playing with six, remember. 2.30 to go. They'll want to try and work some points here. In with three seconds left, you go to the set piece again, line out and get your full complement. Looks like they're going to go. Graziano. There is Iskro, World Player of the Year. Been used sparingly by Gomez Court here in Hong Kong so far this weekend. Look at you, Stop tries to rip the ball away from Fraha. Osadzu. Verafel. Graziano. Worth well, noting the Argentina women's team are doing well in the yeah, Challenger the Series at the moment. They're in the top four of that we division ahead of the final round in yeah. Poland. In a couple of months. Yeah, there's a lot of positives going through the Argentinian Sevens program at the moment. Now they're back up to their full complement of seven players, but New Zealand just controlled the tempo because they've controlled the scoreboard. Oh, legend here, Santo Gomez Cora. Scored a lot of tries in this field, I can tell you that. Yeah, 230 to be exact. Decent. Third all time. Oh, brilliant work from Shea Clark again. New Zealand contesting the line out. Have they turned it over or have Argentina found a way to keep it? No. Dylan Collier, the captain, has it. Now he sets off through contact. Brilliant work from the New Zealand forwards there. Here's Nashu in a wrestling match. And that's where I think New Zealand has dominated. Is that the contact, whether it be counter rucking, in particular the lineup, they've challenged, they've had a read on every single throw of Argentina and contested it. Finished 10th in Los Angeles, KT. 10th. I mean, you'd never hear about New Zealand teams finishing that far down the standings at sevens events. How much of a how much of a rocket do you think that gave them to try and come oh, here please. to Hong Kong and lift the standards? I think the thing is, Rupert, they've had a lot of players out for a long time and big players as you spoke about they've had to bring on a lot of young players i think they've had a plan and they've followed that i know hong kong is the one that really wanted to start launching from and they've got a bigger plan in place going forward as well yeah there are some pinnacle events coming quickly on the horizon of course this year not least the paris olympic games and the top eight grand final in madrid on the series here's cody Vite debut here in Hong Kong last year scored in the cup like final what a thrill for him that was Argentina still working right to the end he's got and this is what Argentina needed in the first half not now when they're 17 points behind and five seconds to go it's gonna be too late for this one they're gonna get nothing out of this game well Andrew Newstub might try and add some more points here to improve the points difference Perhaps recognizing how competitive this pool is, and they're going to keep going. Cook Savage, good tackle from Iskrov. Slow to get up. Hold it. Penalty now, Argentina. Now they'll have an opportunity to try and adjust their points differential despite the loss here. Pellandini down the middle. Shea Clark saw him coming. Ruck. Leon. Again, that counter ruck from New Zealand. Ball's loose. Brady Rush has it. Now Cook Savage. Cook Savage, couple to beat inside to Cody Vai. Change of direction. And New Zealand will pour on a bit more quality at the end of this one.
it's been an outstanding performance from the All Black Sevens against the top ranked team in Rugby Sevens right now. Cody Vai with the try. The Pye Cook Savage, I think he's been brilliant in the prime maker role, really stood up. This guy was fantastic the last couple of tournaments in New Zealand. Great to bring him off the bench, and that's the exclamation mark on this performance. New Zealand through to the Cup quarterfinals in Hong Kong. They will have a chance to defend their title. New stuff. Can't add the extra two, but a shutout against Argentina for the All Black Sevens. That was like going back in time, that game, in terms of the results. Don't see that very often against Argentina these days, but a fine result 